For the Cape Cast, checking stories, making news as you head out the door today. Mm -hmm. Wichita police had a busy night. They are investigating what's being called a suspicious death. A woman found at a home on South Minneapolis. We know much more about a stabbing on South Greenwood Street later in the night. Case Lily was live there right now. Good morning, Lily. Gloria and Jamel were south of Kellogg and east of Washington Avenue, right here in this neighborhood. Now, the incident happened right there at that house. Police have since arrested a woman in this case. Police say that a man was stabbed by his girlfriend, and that man drove himself to the hospital with non life threatening injuries. Now, the woman was arrested. And that woman is in her 20s. Now, police say that the couple has had a history of domestic violence. And this uh, man is going to survive his injuries from that stab wound. Reporting live, Lily Wu, Cake News. Also making news this Friday, the funeral for Captain Christopher Nordgren begins at 1030 this morning. People are asked to hold U.S. flags along a procession route to show support of Nordgren and the five other Marines killed in a helicopter crash. A different final tribute is planned this afternoon on the Wichita State campus. A candlelight vigil will remember Abdul Jalil Alabash. He died last Friday at a mosque in Saudi Arabia when a terrorist bomb went off. Hopes of ending the Kansas legislative session fell flat again last night. The House rejected a new budget proposal from a conference committee. Tornadoes in Colorado destroyed at least three homes and may have damaged dozens more. More than 3,000 customers in Manhattan lost power from severe storms. The former mayor of an Oklahoma City suburb is accused of stealing copper from broken tornado sirens. A seven count indictment claims James Smith paid jail inmates to steal metal from sirens stored behind the town hall. And